Hello there folks, Nathan here, hope you're all well and welcome back to food and drink reviews here on my channel where today we have something very, very different to review. Now this was just a one-off video because I am trying to, seriously trying to watch my figure now. Um, that's why, you know, food reviews have slowed down a little bit recently but I uh, I had to go into the shop just to get a few essentials and I was just about to go to the checkout and I actually saw these on the bottom shelf and I was like finally finally I found some and I can give them a try these are the original it says new there I suppose they are fairly new. Hang on a minute. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, yeah. New, yeah. They're relatively new. Uh, they're called Takis. Takis or Takis. Or Takis. I don't know how it's pronounced. These are the Takis Fuego. Now, I've seen these all over TikTok. I've seen them advertised. I've seen... Uh, like online, you know, uh, sweet shops, whatever. Um, a lot of orders include these. And I've just been like, I'd like to give them a go just to see what they're like. So that's why I bought the small bag. They did have a bigger bag, which would have looked a bit better for a thumbnail. But I thought, well, just in case I don't really like them, uh, you know, I'll just get a small bag just to do this video with. So, um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get down to it. So they're they're crisps or chips, depending on which part of the world you live in, what you'd want, like to call them. And uh, you can see there, look very salsery. You've got the limes there, and yes, indeed. Face the intensity it shows on the back. I'll just show you that now. And there's your nutritional information. It's tucked up there. Uh, sorry, I sound a little bit on edge. I've just realised that I forgot to disable A-L-E-X-A -E and my Wi-Fi. So I hope that obviously A-L-E-X-A -E doesn't go off. Or, you know, me Facebook Messenger or anything like that goes off during this video. Uh, hey ho hopefully it shouldn't so there's nutritional information ingredients I believe are there underneath uh, for those of you who like to read that I'll have a little read for you in a moment see if there's any uh, in bold that you should be aware of and it says a little something there so there you go okay let me get my magnifying glass and let's have a look. So, new Takis Fuego, chili and lime, artificial flavoured fried corn snack. An adult's, uh, an adult's reference intake, typical values per 100 grams, 510 calories. back face the intensity the new Takis Fuego intense flavor rolled into an awesome snack share it on Instagram or Twitter at Takis GB and there's the nutritional value uh, nutritional information and the ingredients are down here uh, these are made in Spain. Oh, wow. Does it say where? Madrid. Pro pro produced in Spain by Bimbo Donuts Iberia. Madrid. Imported by Colour Brands. 
Pool UK. Okay, so they're actually made, produced in Spain. Ole! <laughs> Uh, the ingredients, let's have a look. Uh, corn flour, vegetable fat, palm, prepared chilli and lime flavoured, condiments, salt, corn. Yeah, there's nothing um, in bold. Just going to have a look. Does it say suitable for vegetarians or anything? Uh, no, 55 grams. Okay, so I don't think there is anything I can actually get gather there. I'm glad I've got this uh, to one side. In fact, I just need a... Oh, sorry about that. Oh, right. Without further ado, I think it's time to get these open, don't you? As this is going to be my last food review for a heck of a long time, uh, you know, I, um, I'm going to try and enjoy this if I can. So let's get a couple out. Ooh, wow, okay, so they're a bit smaller than I uh, thought. Oh, that might be a nice one to sample. That's a bit shorter than the others. Okie doke. Lot little logs they remind me of logs or twigs so there they are look if i just move them back slightly you can see them a little bit better there you go so that's what they look like so they're like this uh deep orangey red sort of color and they have got well they've got sl a slight powdered coating which i'm guessing is the chili powder because these are chili and lime yeah so uh, there's not really much to do but try them so I'll just show you this little one up close that's one that's obviously broken you can see they are hollow look you can see through that one look at that cooey it's like a little tunnel look it's a tucky tunnel. Uh, I don't know what they break like. Do they break? Yeah, let's try and break one in half. Well, they do, yeah. Quite a, a stiff break. A little bit like uh, snapping a piece of fine chalk, I'd say. That's what it sort of reminded me of. Nice clean break there. At least it didn't crumble into a thousand pieces. But I think the time has come to finally try these. The Oasis is on standby. I think I'm going to blooming need it. Uh, so, yeah, let's go. <clears throat> so you might want to make an adjustment to your, your camera. Uh, sorry, not your camera, your volume. Because uh, these... They're probably going to crunch a little bit. I will turn my head away. I will turn away. I will look look uh, to one side just to try and limit the crunching to a certain degree. But uh, anyway, let's get down to it, shall we? First taste of a Taki's Fuego. Forgot to turn away. Hmm. Mm. Nice crunch to them. Not really like anything that we've got in the UK. Um, in terms of crunch. <coughs> I told you it was going to hit me. Mm hmm. They've got a kick. I'll give them that. A bit like a, a mule. I've got a bit of a kick to them. The lime flavour um, stands out. Lime flavour is very nice. 
and then you've just got the I'd say it's more of a heat sensation really the chili rather than a taste and obviously you've got like a taste of corn can't really describe that taste here but the most prominent taste I think is definitely the the lime I think that sort of uh, neutralizes it neutralizes the the chili flavoring yeah let's have a look at another one look at that you can see right through that one kind of mmm yeah that lime is that's really nice actually I'd say it reminds me a little bit, corn uh, taste. It just reminds me a little bit of a tortilla chip, you know. It's a plain tortilla chip. Imagine that with, um, you know, a bit of spice to it, drizzled in lime. That's pretty much what you've got. Yeah, these are pretty nice. Um, they're not as bad as I thought they were going to be. Um, I can feel it in the back of my throat. Back of my tongue's a little bit on the... Uh, warm side but you know apart from that they're they're really not that bad and that's pretty much all i can say about them really you know i can't don't really want to drag this video out too much but there you go takis fuego And I'm playing like, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Hashtag try them. Hmm. <laughs> I'd recommend them. I'd recommend them. I've been it. Like I said, I've been interest, uh, intrigued, and curious to try them for a while now. Uh, because I've seen them so much on TikTok. And uh, I believe Lucky Penny Shop on YouTube did a review of them as well a while back, if I remember correctly. I think he did, yeah. It was ages ago, though. But I don't know if he'd done these ones. He did do a, a brand of Takis. I don't know if there were these, though. But, mm, yeah, very good. Very good. So there's another review under our belt. And with that being said, I think uh, we can pretty much wrap it up there, folks. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have, I'd like to thank you for your support. Hope you enjoy the content I put up for you. And don't forget to share the channel as well. Try and get me some more subscribers. Also, follow me on TikTok at NathanHughes.28. I don't post videos on there too often, but uh, there is a good few videos on there if you want to check them out. And until the next video, whatever that may be, or whenever that may be, who knows? It just remains for me to say, take care, stay safe, stay strong, and as Grandad Murray used to say, stay happy, and I will bid you a very good day.